everyone, my name is GB, and uh, welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft UHC playthrough. Unfortunately, my hand has been forced. I've just lost half a heart of health, and that's because there was a skeleton down there. Just I was trying to come out of here so I could uh, prepare for this uh, episode's recording. Oh boy. Oh boy, we've got a sticky situation. We've got a skeleton there, we've got a skeleton there. There's another skeleton way up there. There's a skeleton up there. There's a zombie up there. There's a bunch of guys, basically, and I don't like this. Hmm... Right, we do need to try and take down the skeletons. Oh god, I don't want to do this. Do I have a bow? I- oh. No, he's- he's blooming locked on! Oh, uh, do you know what? We're gonna have to try and take down this one up here, because I want to get around to our uh, food farm. I think that'd be a good idea. Right. Okay, guys. We may lose some hearts here, but screw it. We're gonna go for it. do 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 Come on! Ugh. Oh, thank God. Okay, right, I got him. Uh, oh, I got a bear out of it as well. Nice, 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 and nice. Okay, that's fantastic. I'm a big fan of that. Right. Any guys around here? Hopefully not. It's a bit of a shame that I lost my uh, first heart of, or first half heart of damage uh, sort of off camera, but oh well, it doesn't matter a great deal. Uh, it looks like there's no one else around here, though, which I guess is okay. Right. Now, then. Do we have a bunch of wheat growing? Yes or no? We should hopefully have a bunch. Uh, ah -ha -ha. Look at you, you beautiful stuff. Look at this. Look at this. We can do a whole bunch of breeding. This is brilliant. Okay, the more breeding, the better, because, of course, we'll get some more food and, obviously, XP for breeding and XP for killing them eventually as well. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Awesome, awesome stuff. So, in other news, uh, by the time this video is going out, I'm probably at Minecon. So, uh, yeah, I've done a bunch of pre-recording. I've done two Terraria episodes and then uh, an episode right here. So, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content while I am away. So, uh, that's all good. Wait, what the heck? Oh, right, there's a thing there. <laughs> there is a thing! A thing! The universal explanation for everything. Just a thing. There we go. Right, cows, cows. There we go. Thank you, buddy. Right, and all of them will just breed and do all their jazz. Right, okay. Uh, repopulation achievement. Okay, pretty cool, I guess. Uh, got a bunch of pumpkins here. I mean, I guess we can harvest them. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to make anything out of them, because I think we need eggs for the pies, right? Wait, did we have a chicken or no? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been on this ride. You'll have to forgive me. And something else you'll have to forgive me for is the fact that you may be able to hear the fan in the background, because it's pretty... It's still pretty hot in the UK. It's not as hot as it was a couple days ago, but it's still fairly hot nonetheless. Uh, right, so what we're going to do is going to make some boots. Obviously, that will leave us two diamonds behind uh, so we could eventually make ourselves an enchant table. So that will be all good to go. So yeah, we've got boots. We've got, uh, we've got this as well. So uh, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't just start wearing it now because, you know, if we die, then that's it. We're done. So yeah, might as well just wear it, right? So let's put that in there. Look at all the stuff we have right now. We could go to the nether if we really wanted to. Oh, that could be an idea. That could be an idea. We could actually do that. Hmm. Do you know what? We might actually do that. We might go to the nether, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> go to the nether, ladies and gentlemen. Just got a flint and steel for the first time. That is amazing. Well, a piece of flint from one piece of gravel first time. I mean, if that isn't luck, I don't know what is. Oh, man. Amazing! Right, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make ourselves some bread really quick, because all food is good food. There we go. Bit of that. Right, okay. Yeah. All good to go. Ooh, I am excited. I am excited. Hmm. Okay. I really wish this would grow. I really wish there was, like, some way of making this grow faster. And no, before you guys try to bloom and bring up the old myth, sugarcane does not repeat, not grow any faster on any other blocks. It does not grow faster on sand blocks. It has been proved many a time before by many different YouTubers. Uh, Zuma Void comes to mind when I uh, think of that, so uh, yeah. It's a myth that has been busted, and no, sugarcane does not grow faster on any other block. So, yeah. <laughs> that is a thing. Aha! Look at that. Okay, right. Uh, what we need to have happen now is we need to have some more of this grow, of course, because that would be very useful indeed. Uh, so yeah, we only need three pieces and then we can make ourselves an enchant table. So without further ado, what we're going to do is uh, we are going... Oh, how's this dude? 25 durability? That's not a great deal, is it? Let's be honest right here. Right, now we have to try and find out whether or not that skeleton is still down in the underground base. I have no idea where he spawned because I'm pretty sure I did a pretty good job of uh, of lighting up the places. Right, is he still down here? Oh, do you know what? I, th I think it might be around here or something. Yeah, light level 7. If it's 7 or below, they will have a chance of spawning. Right, okay, so I have 
made that clear to myself, which is good. Right, we need to make ourselves some torches really quick. Let's do that. Uh, there we go. All right, fantastic. Keep some coal behind just in case we need to smelt, smelt, smelt a roo. There we go. Uh, we do not want to take a bed into the nether because we could die instantly from doing that. <laughs> from the explosion damage it does. Yeah, you don't want to get on the wrong side of it, friendo. Right, now then, the question is, where should we put the portal? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say right here, actually. This seems like a pretty reasonable place to do so. Uh, yeah, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't. Let's put it right here. And, uh, yeah, we'll get a portal set up. We should be able to go into the nether. Hopefully find ourselves some blaze rods if we don't get hurt. That'd be amazing. But the reason why I need blaze rods is so we can eventually make ourselves some potions. And by doing that, we may be able to take down the wither boss. Uh, I'm gonna say the wither boss is gonna be the thing we take down first. Because I always feel like it's the easiest to take down. All you need is strength 2 and regen 2 and probably smite on your diamond sword and you will absolutely wreck the wither's face. It's ridiculous. You can kill him in a few seconds flat if you have all the right stuff going. So uh, yeah, we have a golden apple as well, which is good to go. And yeah, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to pop into the nether. Probably not a good idea, but we're going to do it nonetheless. We do need to progress and by progressing... I imagine we're going to need to take risks. We need to go deeper. Indeed we do. Indeed we do. Right, okay. I'm nervous. I hope we get a good spawn. I hope we get a good spawn. The worst kind of spawn is... It oh. What is... Uh, it's in a big open area, man. This is not what I had in mind in terms of a good spawn. A good spawn would either be A, right beside a, uh, a nether fortress, or B, like, solidly on land and not in the middle of a big lava lake. This is not good. This is not good by any stretch of the imagination. Right, okay, we do have to be aware of ghasts, of course. We will try and ping-pong them where we can. Obviously, if we hit a pig man, then we're going to be pretty much screwed for the rest of our life. So, yeah, we do need to be careful. And we also need to take down the coordinates of, uh, of this place. And one thing we can also do is utilize this place by grabbing a bunch of mushrooms. Because, of course, mushrooms grow naturally here, which is kind of cool. Right, so, uh, let me just take a screenshot coordinate. Uh, so, minus 40 and 60 pretty much rounded up. Right, okay, bunch of glowstone. We will need to grab a bunch of it, uh, but I want to go to a place where I can easily get it, you know, an easy to access place. So, yeah, let's just have a bit of a, a roam around and see if we can find any cool things. Got a bunch of quartz, which I guess is kind of cool. Don't really need it at the moment, though. Not at the moment. Yeah, right, okay. Uh, wow. This place is awful. <laughs> this place really is awful. This is a really bad nether spawn. I can't believe how bad we've got it. Right, okay, let's go down here, maybe. Maybe we can find something over here if we're lucky. We've got some more mushrooms. Obviously, we need the mushrooms for mushroom stew if we really want to uh, make that, which, of course, we probably will. Any food source is a good food source, as I said before. Right, okay. Good day to you, gentlemen. I do hope you don't kill me, because otherwise I'm going to get very mad. Right, okay. Oh, that looks like a place where I can easily get glowstone. All right, we're going to go to it. Let's do this thing. Right, obviously glowstone is going to be useful for making tier 2 potions. That is the only reason I want to grab it. I don't really want to use it as a decorative block. I'm not really focusing on the building. Uh, you know, I'm focusing more on the surviving and uh, getting through this thing. So, yeah. As I've mentioned before, this is uh, basically a playthrough from start to finish. Uh, I probably will make a house of some sort or some description. But, like I said, it's going to be a very sort of basic house. I don't really want to focus on building more than I want to focus on surviving and uh, completing the series because yeah and just to clarify the goals once again for the series is to defeat the three sort of main bosses which of course are the Elder Guardians all three Elder Guardians more to the point uh, the Ender Dragon of course and the good old Wither Boss so uh, yeah all right you get out of here uh, how did I get here it was over this way wasn't it yes yes it was it was indeed okay right what we need to do now is we need to try and locate some sort of nether portal because at the moment I can't see a single one and that's actually kind of worrying because the more we have to travel in the nether to get to somewhere the more dangerous it's going to be isn't it dang crapper oh nether why can't you give me a good spawn hmm why is that not a thing you could have done for me sure to be nice right I'll tell you what guys what I'm going to do is I am going to roam around the nether for a little while and I'm going to try to find a nether fortress. So, uh, yeah. This is going to be a dangerous voyage. It really is. I mean, look at that. We've got lava there. We've got lava there. I'm probably going to make a, a bridge going over there or some sort. 
Oh man, so dangerous. So dangerous, but you know what? We're gonna try it. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna make a bridge over there. We're gonna try and find ourselves another fortress. And uh, yeah, if not, I'll keep roaming until I find one. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going, my friends. And I'll meet you guys back. Hopefully once we find one. I don't like that guy being up there. Not at all, in fact. All right, okay, here we go. Cobblestone bridge, like a true professional. This is how the pros do it. <laughs> oh man. All right, guys, time to roam. I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the good news is I've found another fortress. The bad news is there is actually one closer to the nether portal, but it is like completely above lava and like very, very far in the lava. So I didn't feel, well, it didn't feel entirely safe to me. So I decided to find another one that's on land. And uh, well, as you can quite clearly see, I have now discovered one, but there is a gas floating around somewhere. I have two arrows left, which is not a great deal. Let's be honest right here. And, uh, whatever the case, we need to go ahead, make our way up here, and- Oh, hold on, I don't want to expose myself to the outside world. No, sir. No, sirree. Okay, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna see what kind of things we can do. Oh, man. I mean, the chances of us getting three with a skeleton schools without looting in one episode is just- is very, very remote, let's be honest right here, so, uh... Yeah, that- this is gonna be a thing. Right, okay, the good news is I can make myself some uh, more pickaxes because I, I have wood and a bunch of materials on me, so we are good to go on that front, so let's do that. In fact, I'm going to make another one as well. There we go. The bad news is I don't have a great deal of inventory space, so yeah, this is going to be an issue. Alright, we just got to try and get up here and see what kind of things we can find, so uh, yeah, let me just fast forward this until we get to the top. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I've just broken out to the top of this thing, so uh, let's just have a quick look-see. Uh, oh, there's a blaze spawner! There's two blaze spawners right there! Okay, we can make a double blaze spawner out of that if we really wanted to, but obviously we're not focusing on that kind of stuff. Uh, let me just have a bit of a roam up here really quick. Oh, God! Please no, dude. Please no. Uh, easy to access glowstone. Uh, we don't really need much more, to be honest. What I need to do is try and I need to try and find the covered up part, so so we can get a bunch of loot. That would be amazing. Right. So what we're gonna do is, uh, yeah, we're gonna do exactly what we need to do. We're gonna explore this thing. Obviously, obviously, if we come across with the skeletons, we're gonna have to kill them. We have no choice. I mean, we can't just block ourselves off. Otherwise, progress would just be way too slow. So uh, yeah. Okay. What kind of stuff can we find? That is the question, and I wouldn't mind finding out. Aha! The cupboard area! Found it! Yay! Oh, this is fantastic! Well, the bad news is there might be blazers around here. Uh, oh, wow, look at the amount of chests around here. This is crazy! Uh, right, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, we can probably take these in case we find ourselves a horse. That'd be kind of cool, I guess. Uh, should we take the chests as well? Yeah. I think... To be honest, the things I want out of this is the nether warts and the ingots, the diamonds, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to focus on trying to get. Uh, oh, obsidian. Yeah, I guess we can try and get some of that as well. That's kind of cool. Yay! All right. Do I have an axe on me? I do not have an axe on me. God diggity damn it. I really should have brought an axe with me. That would have been a great idea. But obviously, my name is Python GB. I don't have great ideas a lot of the time. I normally wing things. Yeah. As in, like, I wing it. <laughs> right, okay, what's this? Uh, eh, pretty cool. Don't need any more flint and steel, though, so I'm going to leave them behind. Hello, good sir. Oh, diamonds. Fantastic. The more diamonds, the better. The more diamonds, the better. And then we can make ourselves the full armor, which, of course, we only need the helmet and the trousers for at this point, so that's kind of cool. We just need to remember that that's the way back. I'm going to put a torch right there, just so we are aware of the direction we need to go. Okay. I'm trying not to run a great deal either, for obvious reasons, because I don't have the highest amount of food in the world, I'll be honest with you guys, but... I don't know, we should be good to go for a little while yet. We should be good to go. Should be an operative word. <laughs> right, okay. Aside from this, things are looking good so far. Oh, no, no, no! Hi, guy. Hi. Good day. Please, for the love of God, don't hurt me. I'm so glad they don't have range damage, otherwise I would be beyond screwed. Good day! Oh, oh, I hate it when they do that. They like stop. They sort of hesitate and then they come back. Good day! Good day! And good day to you. Alright. Fantastic. They're all dead. Whew. Okay, good stuff. Uh, we'll block this off. We're basically going to block off all the areas we explore until we get back. That's pretty much the way I explore another fortress. It's a pretty good system, actually, because then you never get lost. You never you never manage to lose the find. Lose the find the way out. That's some great English, Python. You're great today. You're on form. 
<laughs> oh my god, pre-recording many videos. That's what it does to you, ladies and gentlemen. It drives you mad! <laughs> oh man, okay. So let's go, I'll tell you what, let's start splitting a bit. Let's see if we can get back to these places a bit more uh, efficiently, a bit more quickly, if you will. Okay, there's a lot of stairs around here, good lord. Alright, okay. Ah! Good day. Alright. Oh, please don't kill me. I hate it when they do that. They sort of hesitate, and then they start moving really quickly again. Oh, okay, he's dead. Alright, good. Let's block that off. Let's block this off. And let's continue exploring. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm not going to lie, this... Oh my god, this is... Not a great predicament at the moment. The bad thing is, they can still shoot. Is he coming? Oh, regular skeleton. Must kill him. I have to kill him. Oh, no! I took a heart! Oh, damn it. I don't have any blooming arrows left. I thought two hits and a sword hit would kill him for sure. Come on. Ah, he's dead. Oh. Okay. Oh, man. I need to preserve arrows, but I can't. I just can't. I need to use them. If I don't use them, then I'm going to die. Oh, ammo preservation, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a great thing. The hell was that? Somebody just die? I don't know what that sound was, but I don't think I liked it. Right, we need to get a blaze rod. It needs to happen. Alright, we're gonna go in all guns blazing. Get it? Blazing? Cause, yeah. <laughs> ah! Get wrecked! Oh. Ah, thank god. Huh. It wasn't too difficult, actually. Um, uh, what should we chuck away? Probably the nether rack. I really, really need this stuff. Yeah. Alright, let me block that off really quick. Alright, where's the rest of it? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Good oh my lord, that went all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so scared. Oh man, the nether's so much more scary when you're in the uh, UHC modes. Right, I'll tell you what, let me, uh, let me eat a piece of food. That'll free up another inventory slot. And we'll take the nether warts, because of course that's what I'm here for. And of course the blaze rods, they're useful as well. And aside from that, everything is uh, everything else is good. Yeah, alright, we need to go this way where the blaze is, so we can try and relieve him of his rod. I can see some more nether warts behind it. Is he on fire? He's not on fire. Alright, here we go. Kill him! Oh! Ah, ah, oh, oh, ye, oh, ah, ah. Okay. Okay. No, oh, stop doing that. I hate it when they hesitate. I keep saying it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's so annoying. Right, okay. Wow, look at all the... Wow, there's so much stuff. And there's another plummet staircase behind it. That's incredible. I love that. Okay. Nether warts galore. This is fantastic. Right. How many... We still only have uh, one blaze rod. We could do with more than one, preferably, so we can make ourselves some uh, good old-fashioned... Uh, what's it? The uh, the strength potions, which, of course, require... What's it? What does it they require again? A thing! They require blaze powder. Yeah, that's the thing. All right. Good day. All right, we're all good. Wow, look at it. <laughs> what? It's like a, a glowstone dead end. You have met your demise, good sir. And that demise is glowstone. Yeah. All right, a full stack is good. I want to take this guy down, preferably. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Why did you have to go over there, you jerk? You... Ugh. Come on, man. I wanted that. I wanted that so bad. And that guy's just like, nope, I'm gonna float over here so all of my drops will just fall into the lava. God damn it! Uh, oh, there's another one. There's more than one. Oh, this is not a good place. Oh, he's on fire! He's on fire! He's on fire! Uh, he's dead. Uh, uh, I have to take down everybody. I have to take down everybody. God, for goodness sake. They're everywhere, man! They're freaking everywhere! Oh my lord! Okay, don't hit the pig, man. Did I just hit him? Sorry, I got really panicky there because I thought I hit the pig, man. Okay, I just need to hit him. Okay, he's dead. Oh my lord, this is getting ridiculously intense. I want to kill the rest of them blazers, man. I want to kill them. They're useful to our cause. Oh my lord. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, I've just taken some major hearts. Major hearts, major damage. Okay, um, I have to kill you. I have to kill you. What am I at? Five hearts. 
Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to eat this. We've got no choice at this point. Right, we'll get four more hearts as a result. We gotta do this. I need these rods. God. Right, these guys are all dead. Oh, they didn't give me any rods. None of them gave me rods. What the heck? I've still only got three. Ah. Oh, god damn it. This game is being really mean. Oh, really mean to me at this point. Okay. I need to. Uh, I don't know, man. At this point. At this point. I think the best thing to do would be to retreat and end the episode. Oh my lord, what is this? Okay, it's dead. Good stuff. Oh. Okay, you're dead as well. Okay. Whoa. All right, guys, we're going to end the episode there. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to leave a thumbs up. It will be much appreciated. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're now down three hearts. And, uh, yeah, I think the next thing we're going to do is make a return trip because I don't think there's anything else we really need to get at this point aside from blaze rods. So, uh, yeah. Oh, there's one there. Hold on. Let me let him shoot. All right, he's shot. Let's kill him. Ah, there we go, another place one. Fantastic. Alright, guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.